Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a while, for at least for at least for us, but for you guys, it's probably not even been that long. Anyway, hello, I'm Corrupt One, and with me is my wastest co-commentator. The fuck did you just call me? You pile of shit! What did you just call me? I, I know this is the second time trying to do this, but I still never. Oh, great! The ruin! Yeah, you ruined the illusion. Congrats. <laughs> it's what I do. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, you're. Yeah, anyway, yeah, you're racist. Anyway, I'm gonna be. Before I begin the game, I want to just look through the menus just because I never did, just to show off uh, everything. For example, like all what everybody does. Basically, everyone's just the menu and. Okay, Peppy, you just you yawn. Anyway, also, and also I'm also showing off the uh, the cheats because the game doesn't show it off. For example, you saw like it, there was a display credits. Don't click on it. And here's Slippy with uh, the music, which honestly should not have been a cheat to begin with. If anything, it should have been just like you know you beat the game. Here's your music. Oh, so it's like there's a music select che like one of the cheat tokens is like a music music selector. Yes, yeah, so like, like for example, listen carefully. You can hear the sounds of. Ah. Uh, oh Jesus! <laughs> your favorite level, and here's Rob. <laughs> Basically, he activates the he activates the dinosaur subtitles. You, you better not have activated them for this. <laughs> you, did you activate them for this playthrough? <laughs> you did not. Uh, you'll you see. Did. <laughs> did you? I don't know, did I? Your whole thing you is see, it, You see, it's off. I know. Dramatic tension. Uh, you fuck. <laughs> you pile of shit. You knew I was going to freak out over that, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, uh, Corba. <laughs> Corba. Uh, yeah, because look, the save files, it's core and ba, so I called you oh, Corba. That, that was also just to show that as you as you progress through the game, it does actually like just show you the percentage of how much you've completed. So we passed through Dark Ice. We've got through Dark Ice Mines. Thank God. We're finally past that point. So we're at basically at 33% of the game. Doesn't really mean much. Mm-hmm. Which it's been a while, so did we already return the spellstone and get Yes, the first we did. Here, oh, I'm yeah. just... Even though I said specifically that we would never come back here, there's one thing I, I did not show off. The floating curtain of doom? No. <laughs> that. You'll see. Oh, yeah, the golden alpine you, root. If you bought... Put that down. You don't have enough scabs. He said... <laughs> If, yeah. if you buy something you can't afford, then he's just gonna freaking just bitch at you. You know what's funny? When what? I was a little, when I when I was a little kid first playing this game, I thought he said scabs. <laughs> you don't have enough scabs. <laughs> like, he, he has this weird way of saying scarabs that sounds like scabs. <laughs> no, he. Yeah, one last fuck you to him because we're not gonna <laughs> see him until the end of the game. Well, like, sometime before Dragon Rock, I think is when we need the uh, Golden Alpine Root. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's later. But anyway, the way, when, he, when he says that exactly, when he says, you don't have enough scabs, he sounds like a freaking, uh, he sounds like a kid who's just really, really tired but trying to be angry. <laughs> he sounds like Gilbert Gottfried with, a, with like, throat problems. <laughs> Jafar, you don't have enough scarabs. <laughs> anyway. We're, for this part, we're gonna go straight to the next area, which is Cape Claw through these stupid place mushrooms. But these red mushrooms can go fuck themselves. Indeed. But yeah, we and also poor. Hey, we just get grab him because FM. <laughs> grab every, the fairy. Every fairy up until this point, until that bag is full, is completely not safe. Yeah. Is. Are we just gonna call them fairies because they're technically called Baffum Dads? I think they're called, but they're basically I thought, fairies. I thought we're going. I thought, I thought you liked the name Four-Eared Fucks. Oh, uh, oh yeah, the Four-Eared Fucks. <laughs> like the I four... said. Nope. Go ahead. Going for the Four-Eared Fucks. Find them all. Uh, but like I said in the beginning, when I said like for you guys it's not gonna be that long, but for us it's been a while. Uh, yeah. Uh, there's been some complications on my end, aka my laptop just kind of went. <laughs> 
And so, then, and then at some point, my laptop decided to bite the dust. As yeah, well. but you're, but you got your, but you basically replaced your laptop. I had to wait for got for a long time for my thing to get fixed. Yeah, I had to yeah. replace. Well, here's the thing: I was going through issues trying to replace the damn thing too, because this one that I'm using, I got a couple days. I got like a few days ago, la like last Sunday, I think. Gotta I wait. Kept, I, I kind of. Oh, oh, go ahead. I kept having issues with the ones I got. Oh God, this. Hmm. I don't know. Those landers are now freaking me out now. <laughs> uh, they look like testicles. Okay, yeah, you just go. You, you just go do that. <laughs> they look like testicles. I swear. I did. That's where I wasn't going with. You made it sexual. You, you, ma you made it sexual. I was gonna go with something completely different. See, that's you. But we're talking about me here. That's the so thing. That's the thing. Every time I do that, you're like, Jose, what the hell? But now it's just like, oh, I'm gonna do it because fuck you. Well, congratulations. You finally know my attitude on life. <laughs> yeah, your stubborn nature. Also, this guy. <laughs> Best voice. <laughs> the go giant golden scarab played by Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Zankana, you must pay 60 sca- Did it just burp? Yep, he ate them. A statue <laughs> ate them. Zankana, pay 60 scarabs to, to get to the chopper. But, no, that that voice was perfect because the, the voice was perfect for the just the statue just, just because of the fat cheeks. <laughs> I don't know why. But, I still can't get over the fact that you bought the fucking ball. Oh my god, get over it! I'm never going to get over it. Oh. I'm holding a grudge. This is like... This is like Star Trek level grudge for me. What? What? Like, you know Khan in the Wrath of Khan? He, that guy, that motherfucker held a grudge. That's what I'm talking about. So now I'm... Like, he held a grudge for fucking years. What do you want? Oh, you... Nope. Now I'm gonna say it. Nope. Never mind. Anyway. What, what, what were you gonna say? Absolutely not. What anyway. What were you gonna say? No! What were you gonna say, Jose? I was gonna say, fuck you. Anyway. <laughs> That's not what you were gonna say. Well, yeah, either way, it would have ended that way. But anyway, what I was trying to say before you made the, what I was gonna say sexual with your stupid <laughs> comments... Oh, come on. They were beautiful comments. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first off, there's no such thing as beautiful comments. Have you read, like... Oh, I thought you, oh, oh, you're talking about those comments. I thought you were saying the testicle comments. <laughs> Criminy, make up your mind, dude. <laughs> anyway, what I was trying to say before you freaking went... Did that. Anyway, this is... This is not going to be the only time we ever come here because there's literally nothing down here except for the uh, energy cells, the fuel cells, whatever. You know, I have to ask, what kind of well has, like, those flamethrower death traps, like... What, what what well has an old thorn tail trapped down there for 50 years and no one gives two shits about him? That's true. Dinosaur Planet is a weird place. <laughs> but anyway, like I was trying to say, the reason why those freaking, uh, those lantern things freaking freaked me out because in Fallout 4, in the DLC, Far Harbor, there are enemies called Anglers. Oh, oh, I get where you're going with this. Ex yep, freaking that thing. And it just, and every time I see that, I'm just thinking, I gotta be very careful. Not dude, dude, you just anything. narrowly avoided that fire. Like I know, right? <laughs> but anyway, th 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 uh, this is one of the also problems with, uh, at least like in my opinion, just because it just takes a little bit. Like mm -hmm. the uh, the transitioning scenes between, um, you know, going to the, all the different areas. Oh, the transition areas? Yeah, like um, with... Um, like this well, the like, bit between Thorntail Hollow and Lightfoot Village. And then Thorntail Hollow to... At least, no, with Lightfoot Village, uh, you know, that comes... You know, that's fine. Yeah, but, that was short, actually. But with, um... It's just like... These just, these just like... We're just... Eh. I don't know. For some reason, it just, uh... When I was, uh... Editing, it just... When I was editing through the, uh... Going through the footage... This whole air... This whole... The whole in-between things just... Seemed to just... Be long... I don't know, they just, they just, I don't know, they were just, uh, they just feel like they took a lot from the video. Yeah. That's the thing, it's like, it wouldn't be a big deal if maybe you had fast travel, like, for places you've been, but... but it, uh, it's, it's more than just that, I don't know, they just don't, I don't, when you go through them once, that, it, 
when you go through them once, that's fine, but you have to do it again, it's just, and also, hmm. Scary purple tricky. Someone's watching. He's got the it's, shutters. It's J it's Jason Voorhees. Jason Voorhees is watching. <laughs> oh, I wonder who that who the heck that was. Anyway, but we're, anyway, for Cape Claw, your beach lo your beach level. I like this place. It's it, it's nice. It would be nicer without the fucking sharp claw, but it's. it's I like if I remember it. right, this is like a, this was like a vacation area or whatever the heck they say, like a. I, yeah, um, yeah, I think it's like a vacation area so, for for dinosaurs, but they can never fucking get there because the design of this game exactly. is exactly weird. Uh, hmm, I, <laughs> ah, I tree inside of a tree. There's no, there's no honey, there's no uh, sap in there. Also, that thing. Oh, Those things are annoying. The laser shooting huh. motherfuckers. Hmm. She's crying yet. I'm not seeing no mouth movements. It's because this game wasn't completed was the thing. <laughs> but yeah, Fine. say hello to your beat, your uh, your beach level where uh, I don't know. I feel like the first time you come here is a bit. Well, at that ferry. <laughs> More four-eared fucks to revive you. I, it was, I, I, like I said before, that it must be like a freaking like royal rumble inside that very small bag. Yeah. Also, their name, Kushis. Kushis? <laughs> They're fucking <laughs> called Kushis? Yep, deadly little critters. <laughs> because when I think deadly little critters, I think of something I would say. I think of something that sounds similar to Kuchi Kuchi Koo. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, also, the most unnecessary bribe claw ever. Oh, yeah. You pay me scarabs to pass. Hmm. Spoiler alert. You don't need to pay him. Uh, that sounds like a very nice deal. Hmm. Let me think about that. Oh, look at that. What? I get the feeling that it was probably something done on the developer side. Like, maybe one of them. Oh, hi there. Yeah, and then once you use that, the bribe claw will let you pass. Basically, it's like... <laughs> you it's, paid me scarabs to pass. Like like, a, one like, minute late, one minute later, one and one person dead behind him. Oh hi! Oh, you want to know the most fuck you story that ever happened to me when playing this game at this part? What you I, paid the scarabs? Yeah, I did pay the scarabs <laughs> when I first played this game. But then I saw the rocket pad and I was like, oh fuck! <laughs> well, I didn't yell that because I was a little kid, but you no, get I what I mean. <laughs> also, uh. Crap, I forgot what they're called. I just want to say- Hi, Tots. I was, I was thinking Long Nick from Line Before Time. No, no, these guys have the same name of a shoe. Hi, Tops? Yeah. Like, that's the name of- that's a, that's a type of shoe, actually. Also, the most depressing thing ever. Hi, Tops. Not many members of this tribe left. That's like the only description you can have. <laughs> Hi, Tops. They're basically endangered. <laughs> yeah. An endangered so, species, motherfucker. So basically, uh, for this for this part of the, yeah, F that, FM. But uh, for the first part of this area, you have to basically find the high tops gold because then he'll help you out with your quest, as he puts it. Did, did you just take tricky when you on that last hit on the sharp claw? I don't know what you're talking about. I even see it honestly. You you hit tricky. That's if hilarious. I if I did, I didn't notice, and if I did, well, oh well. If you did, I'm laughing. <laughs> Because you're a sadistic person. I just hate Tricky, okay? Is there really anything wrong with that? You hate Tricky, you hate kids. <laughs> I don't hate children. <laughs> He's basically children. Hear him laugh. No, 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 no. Also, no, no. blow fire. What's more awesome than that? You have a child who spits fire. Yeah, maybe it would be more suitable if Tricky had the voice of a fucking child. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. He has the voice of a 20-year-old man. <laughs> uh, Isn't the voice acting so masterful in this game? Anyway, but, um... Like I was saying before with the freaking, uh, the bribe claw, I feel that was probably, like, a developer, uh, thing on their part. Like, maybe one of them was, like, so adamant, like, no, the players have to pay the scarabs. And they're like, okay, fine, they'll pay the scarabs. Once he exits the room, what a fucking jump, jump pet right there, right now. 
<laughs> and he didn't notice until the game was released. And then he's playing it at home and like so proud of himself. Then he sees it and he's like, Those are my fingers. <laughs> These pe these children have to know the economy works, and you're just making them go in there for free. Exactly. Anyway, but these guys these guys are for some reason a lot tough because they kicked my ass almost. The bigger sharp claws can put up more of a fight, so. No, for some reason I like to think they they actually seem to put up more of a fight just because of the fact that you use only one freaking thing to block the uh, just the way they position the the axe. Just made it seem like they were more kick-ass, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, they are... But I don't know, I, w I think I wasn't just... I think I wasn't trying. Because, yeah, I just got my ass completely handed to me. Yep, one heart left. Congratulations. I had one little sliver when we fought against G Gal Galden. Okay, fair enough. Also, F you, Kushi. I, I can't get over that. <laughs> uh, look at all the... The infestation of Kushis. Am I, oh god, just some of these creatures. <laughs> well, we. What's wrong? What's wrong with names? With with names such as called a chum. What the fuck are you doing? What? You have the ball up. What are you <laughs> no. Doing? That was my, that was not attached. No, I was actually. Oh shoot, maybe it was. I don't even know at this point. <laughs> So, so you don't know if you were trying to piss me off or not. I think I probably... Uh, maybe I was, actually. God damn it. Oh, you <laughs> shit. <laughs> I don't, for some reason, whenever I'm uh, in this area, I like throwing the ball into the water just because I like seeing Tricky just swim for it and then just running up to you with it. I don't know. Yeah, that's always... yeah I'll admit, that's kind of adorable. <laughs> oh, hey, yay, look, is this, like, positive? Oh, sh yes, the person who hates everything about Tricky. I've, I thought if you give him the gold, he'll say different dialogues, sort of like with uh, the, the the snow horn from uh, on, uh, Dark Ice Mine with the I need food. <laughs> I, or I need more, but he doesn't really say anything different. Basically, but, no, 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 you said it wrong. It's but I need more. <laughs> Uh, Imagine, I'm just imagining uh, Manny from, uh, or oh God. from uh, Ice Age said that with that voice. Speaking of which, there's a new one out, actually. I've just found out. Fine. What, the fifth one? I thought yeah. we already talked about that one. Did we? Yeah, we I... did. You're, oh, yeah. You're like saying, like, you can't believe it the fr it's, it's, uh, there's more. Yeah, because the first Ice Age came out when I was a wee little lad. I don't know, the Ice Age films, I actually don't really mind them. At least the first three, maybe the fourth one. Just because of the fact I like what they did with Manny. You know, first movie, we learned about Manny's backstory. Depressing. Yeah, I, I've I've heard nothing but bad things about the fifth one, funny enough. Huh. Like, it's been getting worse reviews than any of the other sequels, so. Damn. Uh, I, just, I don't know, I've only seen the first two, and I thought they were fine. The first one I liked it because like I liked I, I just liked them for the most part just because like just because of what they've done with Manny, in a sense. Also, yeah. don't mind me. I'm just looking for the last gold, but also going for energy cells. But even though you really don't need them at this point, eh, not funny. really. You're at this point, at this point, absolutely not. You do not need them. <clears throat> yeah, like yeah, I think you have more than enough for the rest of the game. Yeah, but it's just it's it's the collector in me that wants them. <laughs> What's wrong with that? No, nothing, nothing. I'm not saying anything. I'm, I'm doing a completionist route of Final Fantasy IX, so I'm not saying anything against it. Uh -huh. Oh, that's what I thought. Anyway, the thing with, like, in the first Ice Age movie, I liked what they did with Manny in the sense that, you know, we learn about his backstory, and then he kind of becomes, you know, instead of becoming, he becomes like he was this cold individual, but then he gets a little bit nicer at the end. Mm -hmm. The second movie I really liked in the sense that in the first movie, he said, you know, he told Sid that, you know, if you have family, you should remain loyal, or in Sid's case, grateful. But in the second movie, he it really showed that he took that to heart because, you know, when Ellie came into the field, like, you know, there was a chance he could have been with her, but he was so he was hesitant because he really didn't want to, like, quote unquote, betray his uh, wife and kid, which I really liked. Like, I thought that was actually kind of interesting. I just like how in this last hunt for a gold bar, we aren't even focusing on the game. We're focusing on Ice Age. <laughs> you started. 
Anyway, this one took me a while because I completely forgot about it. I completely forgot it was there. <clears throat> also, a random Kushi inside the inside the cave. Watch as I kick it. Are you just on an obsessive genocide of Kushis? <laughs> <laughs> Kill all that would of them. Be, that would be an amazing news report, actually. And it's sad to say that the Kushi population has just dwindled. Yeah, the Kushi population has dwindled <laughs> thanks to Maniac Fox. We, the have, the we have an interview with a surviving Ku Kushi. My children are back there! <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, no, it's just... The Kushi population has been declined because of an anthropomorphic fox with a staff bashing their heads in. <laughs> watch as, watch as, watch as we have footage of him using an earthquake ability on them. No, Dear please, I have children! Dear God, how painful. <laughs> this got dark. <laughs> you freaking brought it there! I know, I was just making an observation, okay? <laughs> uh, anyway, there's... If that's not a basically a type of a in the freaking uh if you read it up on the map it basically says that an opening to Ocean Forest Point Temple that's basically the freaking hint right there. Yep. Now we all got his gold. What does he do for us for our quest? Great, brilliant. <laughs> Heaven forbid we could have jumped. Captured a cloud runner. Hmm. I'm surprised you only have four gold oh, bars. Oh, wow, I just saw... Huh, I didn't do that, actually. <laughs> I'm surprised that the high top didn't need more. Shut up. <laughs> I'm never letting that go. So we have Cloud Runners, and we have Trick of the Earthwalker. Yep. There's only one thing that's missing here. A Skywalker? <laughs> Son of a bitch! I stole your joke! I stole your joke! Ah, uh, that wasn't what I was gonna say, but you know what? Whatever, fine. <laughs> what were you gonna say? I was gonna say we have the Earth Walkers, we have the Cloud Rotors. Shut the fuck up! Where are the waters? The waters? Where's, the, where's the water equivalent of these species? The water swimmers? <laughs> I was thinking of water skippers. Oh, that, Ocean that skippers. Actually, that actually might be a pretty cool species. Too bad it goes, no, that too bad it doesn't happen. And also, we're being poisoned. Yep. Hmm. <coughs> Let it all out, Fox. Let it all out. Basically, this... just cover the vents up. But I think... Uh, I can't, I, I can't remember, but I think you have to use the same blocks that were shown in the cutscene to put them back in. If you do it with the different blocks, I think it doesn't work. I don't know. I, I've done this game plenty of times, and I think it's always been fine for me no matter what. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know. They, I, the, the way they did it just made it seem like, you know, you have to use those specific blocks. You don't, well, tough. You're going to suffocate. I guess it doesn't matter because you're putting a bunch of blocks on top of poisonous gas, so I think you're fine. Wow! What a great key! Yeah, you almost get poisoned, <laughs> but if you manage to survive, you open the gate! Wow, what a maybe Sharp Claw are brilliant with their freaking key designs. I I'd hate to be a Sharp Claw trying to sell <laughs> security systems because they'd be the <laughs> shittiest fucking security systems ever. Uh anyway, say hello to our cloud runner. Oh! A cloud runner! Shoo shoo! Go away, cloud runner! Shoo shoo! That's racist. Do, man. He is an earthwalker. I am a cloud runner. Our tribes do not see eye to eye. His father has probably been saying bad things about me. That's just racist. So, oh jeez. General Scales. Just... Who else? You see, I am the queen of the cloud runner tribe and also its gatekeeper. Its mouth looks that like a puppet. Needs to be taught a lesson. <laughs> Where is he now? He used my powers to open a path <laughs> to the Looks cloud like a sock puppet. <laughs> what, the must return what, the cloud runner? Yeah. Tribe. I'm gonna need that spell stone. Looks like you've got yourself company, lady. Peppy? Yeah. I'm returning to the Arwing. Can you make sure it's ready for takeoff? Wait I'm on top minute. of the Great Fox, There's you no stupid shit! I'm going up to her fortress. 
Fortress. Nice lisp. You can sit this one out. We'll Fortress. head back to Thorntail Hollow, and you can wait there for me to return. I'll meet you at the fortress. Good luck. Wait, how are you gonna get there? Hmm. Flying, of course. That is bullshit. <laughs> it's magic. <laughs> I want to say bullshit on that, but you know what? Whatever. Do you know what game you're even talking about? This game has so much stuff that just is explained with spiritual magic bullshit. But it works, kind of. Fair enough. You know what? That makes me think about that. Forget how where, how the heck were the... I wonder how the original game, the original Dinosaur Planet game would have done this. Like, would, they, would there have been dinosaur chunks? Because how the heck would they get to the freaking planets? The the areas they would have to. Probably the portals. Man, good luck to getting that portal up there. Because you get a ride. Anyway, it's just a freaking just I don't know why I already know where to go, but I just just uh, freaking just why not? Hmm. And just we're just skipping out ahead, kicking his ass. Because we're not gonna freaking go because it'll just take it's just it'll take long. Soon.